the south side of Chicago. Welcome to the home of the White Sox guaranteed rate field. Tonight a battle of two first place squads between the Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox. And now your 2000 as October looms the pennant Chicago. race intensifies. It's a oh. pivotal matchup between two division rivals next. Dallas Keuchel will get the starting assignment in this one for the Shy Sox. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Now with the plate is Byron Buxton, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Byron Buxton. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch, 707. Keichel's ready. 0 1 on its way. Try to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Making the play over there is Abreu for the first out. Batting second, the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. So now here is Garrett Cooper. First pitch on its way. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. The 1 1 home. Grounded to first. Fielded by Abreu. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. With Merrifield next to bat. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here it comes. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Taken in by Abreu. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. It's the Twins nothing. White Sox coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Devin Smeltzer, a southpaw from New Jersey, gets the starting gig in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Anderson. And the pitch. And guys as we take a look at the twins at the start of play here tonight despite the loss last time out they'd won four in a row so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah Maddie, coming off a 500 home stand you would have liked to have played better in front of your home crowd I get that but they have a chance to right the ship right here get on the winning side push forward game one on this road trip it's not going to be easy in his career against this pitcher he's just two for nine he's taken him deep once. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone just flat out froze him there nothing too deceptive about that four that seam fastball so Not I think he wasn't hitter. expecting it at all Andrew Vaughn. Yeah. 
Andrew Vaughn the next to bat. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's got that average up over 340 now. Two home runs and eight runs batted in. Rounded down the third baseline. Donaldson's there. And there's out number two. Batting third. No left fielder. Aloy. Steve Hedder. So next to hit is Emo Jimenez. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. In there, and he's in control. 0 2 now. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pull side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still no score. into the box Miguel Sano and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for Keiko sets his sights first pitch on its way he's had some success so far but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy sooner or later they're going to figure him out and it's fouled away. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Next, it'll be Jake Cave. Jake Cave. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. The 1 0. He is swung on and missed. Strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jake Cave goes down for out number two in the top half. David Dahl. David Dahl to the plate now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry five pitches he can go to not looking good. Swing and a little tapper. No score here as we play inning number two. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. High in the air down the right field line. Santander waits on it, and that's the third out. Down go the Twins in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
So here's Jose Abreu. He'll be hoping to move up that American League leaderboard in this one as he enters play ninth in the league in home runs. Yeah, and he's the guy who drives the bus on this team, leading the team in that home run department, and he's really been the guy they look to to drive it out of the yard. Yeah, normally there are two or three guys in every lineup that you want to proceed with caution. This big home run hitter, he's the guy in this lineup you need to be very, very careful with. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, D. Rowe. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it hard single up the middle. Yeah watch your lips right there Dan sent it back right where it came from. So here's Juan Moncada as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike enters play here at 279. 28 home runs and 72 RBIs. Comes set and the 0-1. Right there and it's quickly 0-2 now. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. A oh, double play ball to second four. Galvis on to first and they turn the double play. Boy that's about as easy as it comes a chopper two hopper turns into a tailor made four six three double play. batter will be Luis Robert as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one he'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second popped him up Cooper is there to make the catch and the side is retired Nothing doing here for the White Sox. We'll move to the third with no score. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now here's the pitch. Donaldson, a 36 year old veteran. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, you ain't kidding right there. 10 years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Head to head passed with Dallas Keuchel. He's just two for nine. He also has one home run. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. Nice line drive to right field right there. Dan, does it concern you when you're missing middle, heart of the plate early in the game? It does, d -Roll. And this is the kind of guy that he can't get away with those kind of mistakes. He needs to work the corners up, down, in, and out. And like that one right there, he has to stay out of the middle of the zone. In now, Mitch Garver. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and right off his arm behind the plate that hurts 264 is average entering play 14 homers 39 driven in.
swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now. In my opinion one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up just a heavy sinker with good downward action. One and two to the Twins catcher. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it well hey that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. So now to the plate, Freddie Galvis. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Five homers and 38 runs batted in. And a strike to even the count. One and one. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Now a change up but it misses just a little below the zone. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Santander is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Here's Byron Buxton now. He popped out in his first trip. From the stretch. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. Hey make no mistake about it this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. The 0 1 on its way and he fouls this one off. Donaldson the runner at first with two gone. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Minnesota home half of the third coming up no score. Now to the plate, Anthony Santander, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch of the AB now. Just off the outside, and it's 1 0. Fouled away. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. To two balls and two strikes now. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back gone. A solo shot here to left and even 30 home runs on the year as the White Sox are on the board first it's one to nothing. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 
He averaged not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. 11 home runs and 31 RBIs. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a fastball pretty close that time but ruled a ball 1 and 1. Change up just off the black and it's 2 and 1. Into the wind up and the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Galvis has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Batting none. Digging in, the, the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. His prior history in this matchup, two hits in seven tries. First pitch of the A-B on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. And he misses again, 2 and 0. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. One out, nobody on. To short. Throw on to first, two gone. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Anderson. Now the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Rounded back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, I can't imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. Into the box now, Andrew Vaughn. As he takes a called strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now a throw over, but the runner's back easily. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Nope. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But the White Sox hit the board first on the solo home run. We played three full. It's now 1 0 Chicago. So stepping in is Garrett Cooper. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. Ball 
just missing here 2 and 0. Oh. He may be down 2 and 0 oh after those first two pitches in this AB but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot so it's not like he's all over the place. Keuchel's ready. Here's the 3 0. -oh. And he lays off there ball four so the leadoff man is on here to begin stands a number four. This is only their second base runner of the game oh, after that three. earlier hit. Tough the to score base. when you don't have anyone on base so we'll see if they can get something going here. Whit Merrifield next to hit comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. Popped him up. Malika will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. And stepping in, Miguel Sano. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AD. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with now him. And watching this it. at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm Here. and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Ready with the 0-1. Hit on the ground to third. Moncada gloves it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down one nothing. Now at the plate here is Eloy Jimenez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one. down the left field line and deep but this is going to wind up a foul ball a one and one count here's the pitch skied down the left field line waiting on it is Dahl and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. And the pitch. Curveball is nowhere close and it's 1 and 0. Abreu tends to exploit left handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite handed arms of course but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. 
one run on three hits and no errors so far for the White Sox. Right there at the belt one and two now. Hey there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. This is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to bat will be the Cuban import Yon Moncada. First pitch of the A.B. now. Skied into straightaway right. Cave able to track it down for the third out. Down in order go the White Sox. They lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0 2 and 1 2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at bat. OK thank you Heidi. So now to the plate David Dahl flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. That misses wide one ball and one strike. Tough to do much with that one a swing and a miss. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Here comes the one two. Fouled off. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson. He'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He singled in his first A.B. Now the 1 0. No runs just one hit and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. A ball and two strikes now. Looked like the cut fastball there and he got him to swing through it for the second out. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. At the plate Mitch Garver. As the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he takes a cold strike one. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. And he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one two three at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that and he's even gotten himself into a good hitters count now. Anderson picks it up throw over to Abreu is in time and with it the side is retired. Twins are set down one two three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score.
Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And Here next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Luis Robert. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Now a slider well off the plate. An easy take there. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a solo shot here to left center field number 21 for him on the season as the White Sox move in front two to nothing. Well if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings sure but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Anthony Santander the next to bat as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty here nobody out. A ball and a strike. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. Oh there it goes in the air to left center and you can forget about this one back to back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game and the Sox will move out in front now three to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Stepping in now, Pat Velika. And a ball 1 0. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Oh, what a stop! It's there, and he's out. Big league play in the hole right there and that's a pretty good example of why getting hits at this level is so difficult. You know he was running down the line thinking for real you got to be kidding me. And here's the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he's 0 for one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he misses low with it 2 and 0. Yeah Matt you cannot miss on your first rounder and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. One of my pet peeves in the game. 1 0 2 0 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball. Set to deal on 2 and 2. Okay. Tim Anderson is on deck. Still only one out in the inning.
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Tim Anderson. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. From an offensive standpoint this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. On the ground to third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Memories being made at the ballpark tonight as they should be. The show is back on the south side after this. And now here is Freddie Galvis. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Keiko sets his sights. Here comes the first pitch. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Oh right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Next to stand in is Byron Buxton. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground to third. Moncada fields it cleanly and very quickly there they're two gone to start the inning and that'll bring in Garrett Cooper wheels and deals here's the first pitch now a swing and a miss took something off that one and it's strike one. Well obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night this entire roster they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Oh he had him fooled there no balls and two strikes. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter seems like every one of them are 0 2 1 and 2 and it's just about every at bat and when that's the case your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse way inside with that one a pretty easy take there two out nobody on. Hard sinker misses two and two. Two outs nobody on but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning big spot right here middle of the order guys coming up let's see if he can extend the inning swing and a flare hit toward right Malika is there and the side is retired down go the twins in order still down three nothing. Randy Dobnik enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now it'll be Andrew Vaughn flew out last time up. The designated hitter, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Dobnek has registered just under 110 innings on the mound and in that time he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning which of course is very good. Drilled to the right side 
And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. At the plate now, Emo Jimenez, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Set with the 0 and 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Vaughn aboard here at first with nobody out. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0 2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. The one two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have now that bat. late action that just the darts at the man. last minute. Hope They're that. so tough to get the I'll bat on. You. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Jose Abreu. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's Merrifield on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Good guys held in check here. But they lead it 3 nothing. Set for the start of the inning and set to go is the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Keiko sets his sights. Here he comes 0 and 1. Popped up. Abreu is there, one away. Here's Miguel Sano, 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch on the way. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Here comes the one two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. No hits to this point. Watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. 
So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. The twins are set down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Now to bat, Johan Moncada. His prior history versus this arm. He's got three base hits in 24 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Luis Robert is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Moncada gets his lead at first, nobody out. Galvis, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Anthony Santander stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. First offering, runners on the move for second. Pitch misses the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Hit to first, reined in. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now back. Second base. Next, here is Hat Valaika. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's 0 for 9. He's set. Here it comes. Two outs here with a runner at third. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that save situation's gone out the window. Don't tell me that didn't hurt. Oh, it does hurt oh. me. Oh, it does because, Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a safe situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. A runner on first with two away. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The 2-2 doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Full count still. The 
Payoff pitch one more time. He spoils another one and will do it again. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that retires the side. Sox get a run here on two hits. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the White Sox four and the Twins nothing. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, David Dahl. Keiko gets the sign. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. Some action now in the White Sox bullpen. They'll stand up a lefty and a right-hander to throw. Now the 1 0. A little bit outside. Two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two now. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. The 2 2. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Next, it'll be Josh Donaldson, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave them out there now. So now to the plate, Mitch Garver, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Donaldson leads off second with one gone in the inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. To the plate now, Freddie Galvis. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the 0 1. On he pops it up. Abreu trying to get there, and that's going to land foul. 
I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. One left for Minnesota. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Corey Guerin will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Tim Anderson. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? d it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now back. To the plate now is the designated Andrew. hitter, Andrew Vaughn. It was a base hit last time up. First pitch on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Now the 1 0 is taken strike one. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Galvis is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Up next to the right. So next to bat will be Elo Jimenez. And he's oh 0 for in this one batting out of the three spot. He's set and the pitch. And that misses for ball one. in there and it's even at one down low two balls and a strike just off the inside part of the plate it's three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. One, two, three, go the White Sox. But they hold a four to nothing lead. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Byron Buxton. Keuchel into his motion. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to the left side. 
And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. In now, Garrett Cooper. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the 0 1. There's a ball smoked, but caught it first by Abreu. And he'll then put the tag on the runner, and this is a double play. The batter number 50, second base. Next to hit is Whit Merrifield. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now the first pitch as he'll take strike one on the inside corner and he'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. Uh, what an unbelievable effort. He has had total command of all pitches all quadrants. Dan this has got to bring a smile to your face. It, it does D. Roy. in the day and age where we don't see very many complete games or for that matter guys going out into eighth let alone the ninth inning. This has been a terrific start up to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down and the inning continues. So some success with two out keeps the inning alive for Miguel Sano. Up next to the play. The designated hitter. Miguel Sano. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. Merrifield is off a of first with two away. And there's ball two now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Now the 2 1 pitch. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. 2 2 pitch is fouled away. Final strike for the Twins. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Sox have done it. They are champions of the AL Central. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 4 nothing the score tonight. The White Sox with their 95th win tops in the division. Dallas Keuchel earned his ninth win of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious White Sox. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left three men on base.